Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, welcome back to Hordes of the Underdark. Okay, so we're gonna get a loud scream here. Okay, so that door leads to the lower portion of Undermountain, which has now just been cut off from the rest of Undermountain because that flesh golem closed the door, which sent four magical chains needed to open it to various other places on this level. A group of goblins got two of them, the drow have one, and a rakshas has got another. There's one of the goblins that got one. He's dead now. And now I have the chain. Alright, so the Drow Field Commander in this area has one of the one of the chains. Then there's some Rakshasas. They've got one. And then the goblins, and man are those goblins a nightmare. So a mummy will spawn out here somewhere. I think it's right to loot this. I don't know exactly what prompts him to show up. There he goes. Oh, and there's a mummy lord. I always forget that. He's not going to like this fire. Okay. There's these things everywhere. And, uh, some of them have traps in front of them will attack you. Otherwise, they just tell weird stories. I'd assume they're just Easter eggs. Probably characters that other people came up with. Might as well kill these guys right now. So the objective for this level is get the chains and then solve the puzzle that will allow you to move between or open the door. Because there's a small puzzle you gotta do afterwards. Alright, well, I think this is the Drow Camp first. And they have some Duragar down here as well. I'm not sure why there's Hobgoblin corpses. You never meet any. Oh, no, not that. Use this. Those stupid Duragar like to disappear on you. Oh, that's a blade barrier. Mm. Don't like that. one of them would resist it. I hate drow. Okay. Uh, there's usually, I thought, some more Durgar right over here, but looks like I'm wrong about that. Ice Talon? Oh, 
she wanted to dispel me. Okay, this should be the last of the Duragar. There's a pile of drow up through the next door. And then beyond that is their sub commander. Who I believe has probably already summoned a spider. Yep, there goes his dire spider. Maybe it's a bear, but I think it's a spider. Let's kill this mage. Yeah, they don't have many hit points, but if they start casting their nightmare. A bunch of these people are members of the Red Sisters as well. I don't know how. Because most of them are guys, and the Red Sisters are supposed to be all female, but whatever. You know, I don't care enough about specific groups of Drow Assassins to really try to figure it out. Just so I can get up close to him. There's Tomy. Gotcha. Yep. Right, so he's gonna head out. I think he just disabled the trap that's on that chest. That's the commander's ring. That's a pretty nice ring. That bottle is important. So the bottle allows you to summon a, a djinn that works with Halaster, and it runs a, like, inter-realm shop. There's that golden chalice of Lathander again. He has terrible prices. But he can be a, a nice, easy source of a shop if you really need one. And I need to summon him because I need his first reward. Okay, so... Yeah, see, 5,000 is his max. Instead of 7,500. It says he's favorable, so I'll have to check his with some other stuff. But he doesn't have a whole lot for sale, either. It just gives you extra turning. Immunity to poison. And light for some reason. Does have a bag of holding. Yeah, I'll take another one of those. They've come in handy thus far. Okay, so that's all the drow, I think, on this level. I don't have any more healing, do I? Aside from the big one. Well, I do have healing circle. I really keep it around as an undead offensive spell. But it's got some nice healing on it, too. Alright, I think we're dealing with the Rakshasa next. They are a handful, let me tell you. Those things very well may kill me. I'll have to move fast when I fight them. They've got lots of spell resistance, so you're limited on what magic you can hit them with anyway. And while most of their warriors aren't that bad, their spellcasters just... can dish out so much damage so fast. I believe there's a trap right here. Yes. That's like a poison trap or something, too. Okay. I don't want to put up my buffs yet. I'll need them, but not for this first fight. Oh, why are they? Oh, right. I 
forgot about that. They bunch of them use stone skin. Oh, I'll lure out and kill their lesser soldiers here. Maybe they're mages too. If I can get those guys to just charge out here. Yeah, the firstborns are pretty bad. If they start casting their magic. Well, I'm not a big fan of them up close either, I must say. It's because that stupid haste gives them an ungodly armor class. Oh, great. The Adepts have some nasty magic as well. Neither one do you want to fight. This haste already wore off. I knew it had short duration, but that's crazy. Alright, let's charge the Adept, see if I can just kill him straight out. Yes, waste your time with a spell that won't help you. Awesome. None of them got their horrible attack spells off. They will in the next room, because they're far more spaced apart. They'll pretend to be slaves when I walk in. They're not slaves. It's a trap. Oh. That took no time at all. Usually, they wait for the Dijin to expose them. Okay. Now we do this. So they've got their leader, Shoresh, and then the rest of them, which as you can see in the room are all very spread out. Their basic warriors will charge in pretty fast. The spellcasters, the ones I'm worried about. That's weird, I have never had that happen before. Usually I go in to talk to them, he tries to say he's a slave, they need to find a way out. And then the, uh, the djinn will fly down, expose them as Rakshasas, and leave. And they're friendly if you show up before meeting the djinn. Oh, why is... They're all spellcasters. All of them. Oh no. I need to run away. Okay. I don't have any speed, do I? Oh, yes, this. alive, surprisingly enough. I wasn't sure if there were any other traps. Better safe than sorry. There's a few more in the next room. But they don't have perfect spell resistance, so I might be able to catch them with some spells anyway. Oh. Oh. Never mind, that was straight up immunity. Ooh, they're fast. Yeah, they're immune to the aura of vitality that I've got as well, or the battle tide that I'm using. Okay, that should be all of them. So the news remains are in that sarcophagus. Usually she'll be standing in here friendly and everything, but uh, if you show up after exposing them, they kill her and throw her in. So I got three of the chains I need. How heavy is this? Also, how much is this way? Fifteen... I don't have any metal armor on me, do I? 
It's only five. Oh, this is a thing too. That's only ten. Using the portal stone that uh, the Jin gives you when you free him, you can activate that, and that'll take you right back out to Waterdeep. So I don't have to go running all the way back up whenever I want to sell things. Alright, well I've got a rest so that I can raise her from the dead, and I might as well do it so I can reapply my enhancements and get all my other upgrades back. The goblin level doesn't seem like it'd be that bad, but it really is. Although I think there's a chance, it might be a certainty, I usually get them, uh, that you can get boots of speed in there. And if I can, that'll make things from here on out significantly easier. I'll have way less hit points, but I'll also be much harder to hit, and I can just close in on any enemies I need to at an immense speed. I actually don't need enchanted weapon. So can I use this? Yes. I didn't even get any friggin' XP for that, what the heck? Is that because I didn't use the rod? Hold on, did I save before resurrecting her? I did not. Well, I'm not going through all that again. I don't know if you just don't get any XP for raising her anyway then. That's kind of annoying. Well, all the rock shosses are dead, the portal is open. And I'll be using that once I'm done down here, and I get some basic information from Nethera on the next level. Oh, you're not dead. That is not a name. Ow, is that a repeated? That's a repeated. Yeah, so that'll happen sometimes. Okay. Let's just head back. So we're heading into Goblin Central. This is what that little key that the goblin had on him lets you in. So these goblin pickets, yeah, see, they'll hit you with this green die that will allow their leader to blast you with some nasty traps that are within the, the dungeon itself, because Net then he knows where you are, I guess, from the die. That'll happen every time they hit you. Yep, there he goes. He's real annoying. These things must be pretty good at hitting. Well, let's step in here. There's Stony. Let's just try to get rid of him real fast. Bam. He's not super dangerous, but he's a bit of an annoyance. He's got a club that only he can use, I believe. Yeah, this is only this is a giant's weapon. It's weird they even let you pick it up, but it's worth a lot of XP. And there they are, boots of speed. Awesome. 
We lose a bunch of hit points. I still got 252. Oh, awesome, and my strength is higher this time. And now I'm way faster, way harder to hit, and way better at killing. Okay. Let's just do this. People threw a lot of explosives at me. Holy cow. Both of these doors will take you to the same location, so it doesn't matter which one you use. I prefer to go through the top one, because I think it gets me a better vantage point. But it probably doesn't. Okay, so you gotta get through these things, and they'll be blasting you with ballistas, but I think I might be able to flame strike them. Yep, just get rid of them, those things all together. Epic. Yeah, bad news for you guys. I'm already immune to the majority of what you're throwing at me. What the? No. I accidentally clicked that. No, oh, that somehow hit me. That siege engineer over there is just resigned to his fate. leader is right through this door. Whoa. Yeah, hi, Badinsky. Go away now. Those levers that he's pulling are what was hitting you with various things as you're trying to get throughout this place. I think you can pull them to start striking any survivors. Ooh, yes. I don't need the agility, because between the cat's grace and the helmet I've got, I already get the benefits of everything that belt can do for me. Extra strength and some speed, though. Now we're rolling. Alright, all the chains I now have, the goblins are dead, along with everyone else. So I'm going to go reattach them, and then solve the puzzle. Not too long after I get to the next level, Nathira will come over and talk to me, and I think I can then confirm that the Valshares is what's kidnapped Helaster and is trying to attack Waterdeep. Well, he is currently attacking Waterdeep. Then I can head back to Durnan, get my pile of money. I think he gives you 100,000, but maybe not. I think he might just give you part of that. And then it, after you attach all the chains, it will give you a random sequence of colors between them when you click on the pool here. So green. Yellow. Yellow. Another yellow. Purple. Yellow. So green, three yellows, a purple, and a yellow. 
Bam. So he'll tell you Halaster is currently a prisoner. Dernan will find that interesting and ask you to free him so that he can stop whatever's going on in his dungeon. But what you really want is the information on who it is that has imprisoned him. Peekaboo. Oh, there's the rest of them. That skirmisher seemed like he was making a run for it. Right there, that's the way to go. Down here is an optional place, but I think once I open this and try to step through, there she is. So she tells you that there are some Formians further south and that they could be allies against the Drow. I always kill them all. They're worth XP, and their help involves skipping you past a large group of Drow and Duragar that are worth experience, and have stuff. And if you take their help, I think the last time I did it, the only time I did it, I was not able to kill said Drow and Duragar and get any loot or XP, so, you know, no. <clears throat> On top of that, the Formians themselves are worth some XP. So armed with all this information and having all of these items, I can go see Durnan. And I can test prices for the wiz or for the the gin as well. Okay, that's not a good test. Thirty seven forty seven. Okay, so definitely we'll sell to this guy. I've never had the the gin be the preferable one to sell things to. Also, if you really want to get your money's worth out of all these things, you can hang on to them until the next chapter, where they're worth much more money. I mean, at most it's twice as much, because things can only be worth 15000 in the next chapter. Which is a lot, don't get me wrong. But it's also not, in my opinion, worth carrying around a bunch of heavy, annoying things in your pack. I wouldn't have a big problem with it if... I had all my bags, and all of my strength enhancements, but I don't, so I have to actually sell things. Besides, I'm gonna have enough money for whatever I need. And there's plenty in the next chapter to occupy your space with. Okay. So all four adventurers are now rescued. They're not part of any overarching quest, but it's a little checklist I always got. Got the information I need, and we've cleared out several levels of Undermountain. Okay, so it's another 24,000. And then he says, go free Halaster, and you'll get the rest of your reward. So between the amount that I persuaded out of him, and 
the information I just gave him, I've gotten about half of what... of the hundred thousand. And that's all I'm gonna get. See if I can actually rest here. Good. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to end this one. So next episode, we should be finishing up this entire chapter. I've got to go help out the Formians and then kill them all, and then kill the rest of the Drow with their big old camp that's blocking the way to the next portion. And then I've got to go kill that Beholder that attacked the Yawning Portal, and the rest of the Drow that are holding Halaster at their war camp. Or just beyond their war camp, really, but there's a bunch at the war camp. And I'm gonna have to deal with all of them. So, yeah, that's what we're... that's what we're doing next episode. And then once we free Halaster, he'll send us off to Chapter 2. And we can move on from there. But that's all for this one. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.